Hi and welcome back to Scotty's Take Out Info. I'm Scotty with my co-host Cletus. And a viewer sent me a message and asked, you know, got a smartphone and I was thinking of lining one side of my smartphone case with aluminum foil. Is this a good way to prevent the radio frequency signals from penetrating my body? So I thought what I would do is a quick little demonstration to show is this a good idea or not. So here I have a smartphone in a case. Uh, you could say Huawei Y6 2019. And here I have my fantabulous Cornet Electrosmog Meter. It's actually a Electrosmog Meter Cornet ED88T+. Plus. I'll put a link down in, in the description for this thing. They're not cheap. I think uh, it was like 250 almost 300 dollars or something yeah they're they're not cheap but they're quite good just know that this meter is quite good because what they did is uh, in terms of the standards and the little flashy lights here uh, they took various world standards from different countries and kind of mixed them together and said okay here's a good way to measure and so basically if it's in the green you're relatively safe if it gets to yellow maybe not so much and if it hits red you're in big trouble now keep in mind that power levels are not the only thing that matters, as I've talked about in previous videos. Uh, extremely low power levels have been shown by various studies to actually have biological effects, i.e. not, you know, not very good effects on our bodies. Um, things like modulation work, the pulse nature of signals, blah blah blah. I'll put some links to my other videos on those subjects down in the description, but uh, for this test, basically what we want to know is quite simply uh, if you have a smartphone like this with a case, can you put foil in here so that when it's on your body, uh, you're going to be blasted less by the gigahertz radio waves? Now, the important thing here is that, yeah, if you have a case like this, uh, this is obviously the front of the phone. Um, the back of the phone is usually where the antennas are. So what you're going to want to do is actually have the back of the phone with the camera facing away from you and the screen should be towards your body. So yeah, antennas on the back. So obviously you shouldn't line the back with foil because that will cause the transmit power to go up. It will transmit harder and harder to stay connected to a cell tower and that means it's actually blasting your body more. But what you can do is actually put the cover of your case, line the cover of the case with foil so that when it's closed the foil is then between your body and the phone and the phone is transmitting away from your body. So let's do a quick test here. Uh, 182. So obviously behind the phone, uh, because the antennas are in the back, it's trying to connect. In fact, the cell tower is actually over this way through the wall. So you can see there behind the phone, red, in front of the phone, yellow. Now what happens if we line the phone with foil? So I have this little piece of tin foil here and it's just it's simple aluminum foil like for cooking I've cut it and uh, I also laminated it in uh, I basically just took some packing tape and covered it just to make it uh, a little bit more durable and also you don't want the conductive aluminum foil touching any part of the phone especially if the phone has a metal case so I just cut this little guy folded the edges over put some packing tape on it and now I'm going to just take it and Slip it into the cover here. I've got a little tab there for easy insertion. Not really. There you go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure again and I'm going to say, okay, let's, let's start updating. So behind the phone, now we've got the foil. Behind the phone, red, but now with the foil in front, we go over here, and you see we're at like six or so. So there you go, it does work. You can just take a simple piece of aluminum foil and you stick it on the, the cover, and when you close it, you take this side with the aluminum foil, you have it in your pocket, the antennas are facing away from your body, um, it's going to kind of act as sort of like a parabolic dish for, say, like a satellite antenna or something. That's just kind of going to reflect out this way, but because the antennas are actually on the back side of the phone, generally speaking, uh, you always have the screen towards you, foil on the screen side, stick in your pocket, and it's not going to completely block the signal. 
uh, but it will kind of act as a reflector and shoot some of those RF signals away from your body, um, which is better than nothing. Of course, uh, if you have a smartphone and you want to uh, prevent it from transmitting at all, say you turn it off at the end of the day, uh, you want to make sure that no one can connect to it wirelessly, you turn it off and you watch my uh, stylish smartphone Faraday box Mark II video, and uh, that's actually a double layer Faraday cage. There's an envelope, you put it in, then you put it inside a box. The box itself is not quite hermetically sealed, but it's pretty well sealed, so it blocks sound, and it will block uh, cell phone signals, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything. Uh, so you can watch that video if you want. And also I did another video where I do a test to see if putting your smartphone inside a microwave oven is as effective as most people think. Uh, you can watch that video on Is a Microwave Actually a Good Faraday Cage? The results are probably kind of surprising to you. Obviously, if you don't need to have a smartphone or a dumb phone or any kind of phone with you, if you don't need to have Wi-Fi, if you don't need to have Bluetooth, the best thing to do is to just simply not use them, uh, especially if you're driving in a car. A car is sort of like a quasi-Faraday cage, and depending on how the car is, or how your phone is positioned, uh, if it's on your body like this and it's aiming into the metal door or something, the transmit power goes up, blah, blah, blah. Uh, some people take their phone and put it like face down on their dash because then it's aimed up through the windshield. You know, there's various things you can experiment with. Um, but if you don't need to have it on, say when you're in a car, when you're traveling, when you're on the train, if you don't absolutely need to have it, turn the dang thing off and that's actually the best protection. Uh, simply not having one is actually the best protection, but that's not terribly practical. So, But worst case, if you do have to have one, just get yourself a little piece of aluminum foil, stick it in there, and throw it in your pocket. You're not going to be getting quite as much RF uh, penetrating your body, and that's probably good for you. So, For more techie tips, see scottystech.info. Thanks for watching. See you next time.